you're this perp back with another video and i just got out of watching the marvels this is a brand new mcu movie this is the last mcu movie to drop this year we had quantum mania and we had um guardians 3 and this one was definitely the most controversial out of the three even before this movie began filming you know um just due to everything with brie larson and the unnecessary hate that she gets for a lot of things that just people either make up or you know they just hang over her head over some shit she said five years ago or something like that i still don't understand the hate for brie larson because she actually is a decent actress and i don't blame her if she did feel like she wanted to leave the mcu i think after watching this movie i would say otherwise like i don't want to see what they do with carol's character down the line because i wasn't too much of a fan of the first captain marvel movie and it had nothing to do with brie larson i just think that at that time that movie just didn't interest me and re-watching it now i kind of lightened up on it a little bit i still kind of feel like it's in the six or seven but there's some things that look are pretty dope looking back at it now knowing how certain things kind of played out in this movie but i would say yes this movie is definitely a big 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 improvement compared to the first one now how captain marvel camilla khan comes into play with this and monica rambo i think they're a great addition i don't think as far as how they handled um the character dynamics between all three characters i thought was very dope and unique and creative let's talk about carol danvers captain marvel for a second because i think they did a very good job of giving her more to do in this movie and more character development i think they uh nita DeCosta definitely gave brie larson a lot more to kind of work with and some people may like it some people may not but I appreciate the effort putting into it compared to the first one where that was one of the big complaints that Brie Larson as Captain Marvel just didn't, you know, she just didn't flow well. She was just very stiff in this. She kind of really gets to show the vulnerabilities of Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, and her having to deal with the loss of uh, her friend. And not only her friend, like, kind of letting down uh, Monica. Haven't seen in Monica since she was, like, a little kid. And having to kind of cross paths in such a way. And so much has happened, you know, with Monica going through uh, Wanda's whole little force field thing. And getting her powers that way. And you have a newcomer, a new face that was introduced in the Disney Plus series, Miss Marvel camilla khan and i thought that was a really dope introduction and she definitely brings a lot of charm and a lot of the humor into this movie and i think she definitely plays off well with uh monica and carol and i think it just works the three kind of character structure really works for this film and seeing how the whole them kind of going back and forth with their powers it influences certain events or it just kind of it, it's a part of the bigger overall story which leads into our villain which i think that's another somewhat positive or upgrade i would say compared to the first film where the first villain in the first movie wasn't terrible it's just the way they executed it towards the end i thought it was kind of was kind of uh, was a pretty much a cheap out where this they really see you really see captain marvel throwing hands and i really like to see that sam jack i i feel like in this to kind of touch on that real quick because i will forget about it he kind of is in the background not doing too much but definitely can kind of show that he still got it as far as um his action scenes go but he's pretty much I, I don't know i think a lot of people aren't gonna like his portrayal in this movie i thought it was fine it's very samuel jackson it's just a little amplified up
But going back to, you know, Carol and just how they're able to connect her with everything that's going on in this story. Everything goes back to her. And the main the main villain's whole purpose is because of Carol not really knowing the fact that she is indirectly involved with certain things that are going on with other people and their homelands and their planets where the main villain's planet is dying needs resources so she's using the the bands to kind of open up these different kind of places in time to go back to her home planet so she can like steal stuff like water steal the whole sun that's like the big ultimate goal is she wants to steal the um uh the sun because her son is dying but they find an alternative uh thing to kind of rectify that towards the end of the film which is pretty interesting because bringing monica into this she is really the brains of the three you know what i'm saying she's the one that kind of understands exactly what's going on she's the one breaking certain things down as far as how are these powers working how are we able to kind of be here in the next and and i like that kamala can also just chime in and she understands everything that go that is going on and she's definitely gotten better as far as her skills and understanding her powers and it's just them trying to use each other to kind of work together to defeat the villain i just really thought that was really creative there's some other things that were really dope in this as far as there were points in this movie where you know they needed to find a way to transport people and you know you saw cats in the trailer and the flurkins they were using the flurkins for getting the people uh transported because they were running out of space and stuff and i was like yo that is fucking terrifying and hilariously creative at the same time i was like that was really fucking dope that's probably one of my favorite moments of this and just the fact that you know having also both bands and how they were used in this and how they were kind of explained in this ancient kind of th thing that carol knew about these she just didn't know exactly the um the whole ability and just the capabilities that you were able to do that's why you have monica in here and it was just a really well way to kind of balance everything that's going on for such a short amount of time because this is the shortest mcu movie now there are some things that i didn't like like there's just one live dialogue from nick fairy that was just really off where he just uses the term black uh black girl magic and i was just like you didn't really need that there nick didn't need to be the one to say that but other than that i was really pleased with this movie i didn't think it was as bad as the internet's going to make it out to be there's some things that really work i would definitely want to see this again uh the post credit everybody pretty much has spoiled the post credit and yes it's official that the x-men are mentioned you know we see beast at the end and somebody that looks like uh monica's mother and that's gonna be interesting oh i almost forgot to i like the family dynamic similar to like blue beetle how to utilize camilla uh kamala's family in this got a lot of dope reactions in my theater my theater was pretty packed it was an imax screening so like that was really cool too to kind of see everybody kind of pulling their weight in this movie and another creative thing real quick before i go is there are like moments where there's a whole scene of everybody singing because they go to a planet where that's their language is singing they can't understand nothing else and how they handled that is very creative beforehand i was kind of skeptical about that i was like they're really gonna have like a musical number in here but the way that they utilize it in this movie is very creative i think nia da costa did a really good job with this movie i think it's gonna get over hated i think um there definitely can be critiques to be made like i said 
I, I like how they handled Brie Larson's character in this compared to the first one. Some people might try to make jokes of it or just say she's trying too hard. No, I think she's doing what she needs to do. And I'm curious to see where this goes now because of how the movie ended. And we are starting to really start to see more of the multiverse within Marvel and stuff that's going on in Loki. So everything is leading up to Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. A lot of the Disney Plus shows are starting to connect now. So we're getting somewhere, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm for it, man. I want to see how they build up to the next Avengers movie and Secret Wars because I think they're gonna drop some major some major shits about to go down in a lot of these other Marvel movies leading up to the, those moments. I enjoyed this. I had a good time. I want to know your thoughts. Leave them in the comments below. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.